Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I've got kind of a part two to uh, my last video that I did. Um, so if you missed that video, I showed you guys how I made a Spider-Man dart gun. Basically, you shot out a dart out of your wrist, um, attached to a string, and reel it back in uh, with the press of a button. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own uh, Spider-Man wrist web shooter. It's not going to be the same as what I made in the previous video, but it's a whole lot easier and it's still really cool. So let's check it out. All right, and that leaves us with this device right here. Uh, so let me walk you through how it all works. So there's really only one major thing you need for this build uh, to get it to work, and that is two lighters. So uh, basically what I did was strip the lighters completely apart, emptied out the butane, and, and uh, emptied out everything else that's inside. 
mainly this fuel stopper right here. Uh, this is basically to limit the amount of butane that comes out of the lighter at once so you don't get a massive flame. But in this case, we want a uh, massive jet of liquid. So yeah, that has to come out. Then it was as simple as gluing the two together and uh, putting the lighters back how they were. Basically screw back in the nozzle and then attach the lever arm back on and uh, attach a binder clip to the top right here to uh, create a lever arm to kind of extend out the two uh, push button levers that the lighters come with uh, out to my wrist so I'm able to uh, trigger it just kind of like Spider-Man would with a flick of a wrist I can just I can shoot out uh, webs just like that and then of course to attach it to my wrist I use some velcro straps just kind of glued them on the back here so it can fit around my wrist just like this um, nice and tight and then to make it look good I added some carbon fiber tape around the outside to give it a little bit more of a professional look and I cut the lighter flint wheels on just for aesthetic purposes. Um, I don't know, I think it kind of looks cool. Oh yeah, and one last thing I did was to cut away a little bit of the carbon fiber vinyl and uh, to expose some of the lighter underneath. This way I can see how much fuel is left. You can see inside to the lighter and uh, lets you know how much ammo you got left. That is basically it for uh, the mechanics of how this works. So that brings us to the solution to fill these with. Um, basically all this is is soap and water. I found the more soap you add, the more foam effect you'll get um, with the webs. You can also do a little bit of food coloring or marker ink if you want to give the webs a little bit of color. Um, but if you want an easy cleanup, probably no color is best. It's basically all that's left to fill this up is to take a syringe, fill up the liquid. Once again, unscrew these nozzles right here, stick the syringe in, fill it up, uh, put the nozzles back in, and then to give it a little bit of pressure, I actually used some butane fuel. Just kind of stuck it down in there. Um, you don't need much at all because butane is actually lighter than the solution that we put in here. Um, so when you shoot it out, it always stays up in this top part here um, and always keeps expanding. So you don't actually end up shooting butane out of here, you just shoot out your solution. And as you can see, this gives a really cool kind of web foam effect. It just coats everything you're shooting at in uh, quote unquote webs. But once again, it's basically just soap water, so it's actually super easy cleanup. Um, just kind of a fun thing to play around with. However, this wouldn't be my channel if I didn't try and find a way to make this way more exciting and a lot more dangerous as well. So I was wondering what would happen if you put something flammable for the fuel inside of this. So I went and got some rubbing alcohol and grabbed one of my old devices that I made in a previous video. This is my wrist flamethrower bracelet. Uh, some of you remember, may remember it. Here's just a quick recap of what it looked like and what it did. Basically just a modified lighter, uh, modified in the same way that we modified uh, these lighters, but it shoots out butane fuel and has a plasma lighter on the front so whenever you press this button a spark jumps right in front of the burner gas shoots out and ignites um, but I thought it'd be really cool to fill this with liquid fuel instead and see what type of difference you could get um, so I went ahead and filled this up with some rubbing alcohol and a little bit of butane just to add some pressure and uh, here's what I got So as you can see guys, very cool result, very dangerous, do not try this at home. But yeah, it gives you a little bit of a different effect than just the straight butane gas. And rubbing alcohol is like relatively safe, it's not like gasoline or lighter fluid or anything like that. It burns very clean and uh, so yeah, that's why I chose it over uh, something more like volatile. Alright guys, well if you did like this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and uh, click that subscribe button to be notified when I upload more projects just like these.
Also, drop your ideas down in the description below. If you have any cool ideas of uh, videos and projects I could make next, always looking to hear your feedback. Um, so yeah, that's about all I've got for this video, guys. Take it easy, and I will catch you guys in the next video.